on this episode of Inside the Blueprint, a company who's creating a safer gym floor for future athletes, reliable, high-quality natural gas services for a greener world, plus a recruiting company that emphasizes extraordinary relationships. We'll visit a company who specializes in warehouse solutions. These stories and so much more. Stay tuned. Durable yet safe gymnasium flooring is an important component of any sports or school facility. It provides cushioning to reduce the impact of exercises on the body. There are a variety of different types of gym flooring available, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. In the 1980s, the company was comprised of a, quite a few uh, basketball players. They either played basketball in high school or college, and some even professionally. And we noticed that our floors that we were molding and producing then were extremely comfortable underfoot when compared to other types of flooring that was out there. Traditional gym floors are really two classifications. They're either synthetic, which is glued or bonded down to a hard concrete base. Then there are wood floors, which are uh, also can be glued down, but the best ones have been a suspended wood floor. Sport Court has been developed to provide an alternative to those synthetic floors and also an alternative to the highly uh, expensive wood, uh, maple wood flooring. I have been using and specifying Sport Court for um, just about as long as uh, my practice has been involved in, in work with Sport Court for years. And it's been something that uh, that I've seen huge benefits for my clients on a daily basis for a lot of reasons and one is with the playability and the safety of the surface. The humidity and the environmental issues that you deal with with a traditional um, wood floor, you don't have to deal with that. The perimeter of a traditional wood floor, you have to plan for expansion and contraction. Um, you don't have to do that with uh, sport court, so that's an added benefit as well. The speed of installation is another benefit that wood floors are going to take longer, they're going to cost more, and they're also going to cost more to maintain after they're installed. Sport court gem flooring is unique in that it's specifically designed to provide maximum player safety for basketball, volleyball, and other sports. It offers superior shock absorption and ball response while also having the lowest life cycle costs and risks of ownership when compared to other sports flooring options. Sport Court Gym Flooring is a modular injection molded product. And then the difference in Sport Court with it being a floating modular floor is each piece of floor, Sport Court flooring is able to move laterally underfoot. So when a player comes to an abrupt stop when they start abruptly, when they change directions abruptly, the floor, the individual pieces of flooring underneath their feet are able to move laterally, left, right, forward, backward, to take away some of that shock. And what we've discovered through data coming from tournament organizers is that compared to other flooring systems, hardwood floors or cushioned floors, is that this lateral shock absorption can actually reduce injuries by as much as about 50%. Being involved with our old school, you know, it was a polyurethane type of material, hardcore surface, and uh, it was really hard on the knees. You know, after being on there working consistently for eight to 10 hours a day, I mean, by the end of the day, your knees are pretty much wore out, and that pain also leads towards my lower back. I've noticed a big difference nowadays that I'm with this new campus. Uh, these, this uh, surface has really been easy on my knees and even in my lower back. I train the youth all the way on the, up to the NBA guys. And I'm from Chicago, the south side of Chicago, and I played on rough courts. Uh, so, you know, I've, I've had many injuries because of that. So now playing on sport court, having a court that's, that can prevent that is, is special. It's a very durable floor. It has, a, it has a pretty high weight load capacity. We have a lot of clients that use the gym, not only as the gym, but also as the cafeteria and as the auditorium. So you could put tables and chairs and other things on the gym floor and use it for really multi-purpose capacity. Sports Court's modular design options allow for customized court designs to meet the needs and preferences of each customer. They can choose from a variety of components to create the perfect court. With Sport Court being a modular floor 
that interlocks and snaps together, if one square would get damaged in some form or fashion, either by a falling object or what have you, uh, you can actually dislodge one piece and replace it with another piece and not lose the overall visual integrity of the floor. A traditional wood system, a lot of times you have to recess the slab. You have to design the HVAC system for um, moisture and humidity control that you, you know, for a wood floor that you don't have to do for a sport court. So that adds cost as well. We built this big facility uh, and they were um, some of the best individuals for us to work with. Not only were they professional and timely, they were very caring and um, took time to meet with us and ask us what we needed and what we wanted. They took every uh, opportunity to make sure that the details of what our needs were, were met. When they have this product, it's something that a lot of times when we plan projects, uh, we're gonna lease this space for a year and then we're gonna build our, new, our own forever facility and just selling the, the benefits of sport court to them that you put it in this lease space for a year, you can pick it up and reuse it forever in your, in your final facility. One of the biggest reasons we went with sport court is because, you know, as a business owner, we knew that we were leasing the gym. We were renting the gym. Uh, eventually, we don't know, we're, we're expanding. So we knew that if we expand, we didn't just want to leave the floor with us. Knowing that we can take the floor with us after we're done with the renting or leasing, that saves a lot of money in our pocket. <laughs> when you have a high school or any facility with a hardwood floor, it's recommended by the manufacturers of those flooring that every year you add a fresh layer of urethane to that gym. And that could cost several thousand dollars just on an annual basis. And with Sport Court, you avoid all of those life cycle costs of maintaining the floor. So they're just a, a multitude of benefits that, uh, that you see in the, in the construction world that, that really um, are a reason why wouldn't you specify sport court, I guess, is the question you should ask. So we went with sport court. Beyond the amazing uh, court itself is the people. So when you are working with sport court, you're working with a team. You're working with some of the salt of the earth kind of individuals who are going to be there from the beginning of that project to the end of the project and then thereafter. I often describe sport court as technological upgrade from a suspended hardwood floor. It's a technological upgrade from a cushioned floor. Sport court, because of its lateral shock absorption capability, is is it's the next generation it's in in my mind it's the equivalent of adding seat belts and airbags to an automobile okay before you had the seat belts and the airbags you were just stuck with whatever cushioning the dashboard or the steering wheel had and that's kind of how a hardwood floor is today it's not really providing the shock absorption that's needed so a hardwood floor absorbs vertical shock absorption that's really only necessary if you're doing jumping jacks. The rest of the movement on the floor is movement not up and down, but around the gym. And that's where the lateral shock absorption really is such a necessary thing today. It's just the next evolution, the next technological upgrade in gym flooring. I do believe that if you are looking for uh, a long lasting, safe, durable, economic, um, kind of flooring, then Sport Court is the, to me, it's the obvious choice. For more information about how Sport Court gym flooring can improve your facility and sports flooring, visit their website, www.sportcourtsouthwest.com, or go to our website at insidetheblueprint.com. Natural gas is an effective and safe, low-emission fuel for many industries, and Sapphire Gas Solutions is making a difference. A Sapphire Gas Solutions is what we call a virtual pipeline service provider here in the United States. Virtual pipeline means that we transport natural gas by truck when an end user or a customer is not connected to an actual gas pipeline for their energy supply. The main industries that we serve are primarily gas pipeline companies, uh, utility companies, municipalities and communities, as well as large commercial and industrial companies like asphalt plants, 
power generation providers, mining applications, or even the agricultural space. They work with a variety of fuel types and offer quality turnkey solutions for the energy industry. So Sapphire provides liquefied and compressed natural gas to a variety of customers uh, when pipeline fuel is not available. Helping clients get off of other heavy hydrocarbon types of fuels and getting onto a, a more simpler, cleaner burning fuel source uh, like LNG or CNG. Liquefied natural gas uh, is a cryogenic liquid. Uh, compressed natural gas is just compressed regular natural gas into a tube trailer. And then we also provide renewable natural gas sources to our clients. Utilizing alternatives like liquefied natural gas, compressed natural gas, and RNG allows our customers to use a, a different fuel, a cleaner burning fuel, when pipeline natural gas is not available versus using a heavy hydrocarbon type of fuel like diesel, RFO, recycled fuel oil, uh, or propane uh, in their operations. Many people in America don't even know that virtual pipeline exists and that it's an option to deliver natural gas as an energy source when they're not connected to a pipe. And because of that reason, we've been able to expand our company across the country and serve all types of various industries and communities. So the way we support the local communities or even large industrial companies with the virtual pipeline solution is we're bringing in supplemental natural gas supply that they otherwise can't get by natural gas pipelines that you would see anywhere across the country. Communities that are in cold weather environments that need additional gas during the winter time for heating may not have enough pipeline infrastructure to support their community, so we can truck that in and deliver supplemental supply and ensure that everybody has heat for their homes. The virtual pipeline solution allows cu customers that would typically be using heavy fuel oils or diesels as a fuel because they're not connected to a pipeline to still use cleaner burning American made natural gas and not have to use the dirtier and heavier fuels that would increase their emissions. They also partner with Indy Cars to provide a variety of energy solutions to help make the racing industry green. So this energy solution today between Capstone and Sapphire for here at the Indy race is we're actually providing compressed natural gas with the renewable carbon credits tied to it. So for this solution, it's actually a negative CI score on the gas supply. So what we're doing is we're removing the emissions for not only the generator that's powering the event uh, tent, but because of the carbon credits that we were able to acquire for this event, we actually re reduced all of the emissions for all four race cars for the Andretti uh, team this weekend. So this is actually a zero emission race uh, for the race team. So this energy solution this weekend between Capstone and Sapphire is very unique because it's renewable natural gas. So we're actually displacing the emissions for not only the generator, but all four race cars for the, for the race. What's key is this is showing that there are alternative ways to continue to enjoy the same sports or the same activities in our lives, but still reduce emissions at the same time with, with, no, with no sacrifice of quality or enjoyment. Their new cross compression service line helps public utilities reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Sapphire's cross compression division allows us to work with public utilities when a pipeline needs to go into maintenance or service uh, in an interruption. Uh, traditionally, utilities would take that natural gas uh, before they needed to work on that pipeline and blow gas out into atmosphere. Sapphire's cross compression division allows us to take that natural gas and either put it into a tube trailer or cross compress it into another natural gas pipeline nearby, saving massive amounts of emission uh, from the area in which they're working direct. Sapphire's cross compression service is available nationwide and it's a very large growing vertical for Sapphire. Uh, every utility has a, a, a massive need to work on pipelines, to keep infrastructure up, uh, to test uh, their pipeline operations. And this service offering uh, is capable of taking pressure from 900 PSI or even higher pressures down to as low as one PSI, saving 
a tremendous amount of, of natural gas uh, for the utility, as well as saving the environment from uh, being exposed to uh, that methane. The way Sapphire has adapted over the years to provide bigger and better virtual pipeline solutions are basically by increasing the size of our fleet, but also using newer technologies that allow us to haul more gas or to vaporize more gas, but basically to deliver more energy. Historically, 10 plus years ago, a virtual pipeline solution might be enough to provide gas for a couple thousand homes in a day. And now we can actually deliver solutions that we can provide gas for up to three to 400,000 homes in a day. My hopes for the future for Sapphire Gas Solution is that we continue to expand across the country and we continue to offer bigger and better and more efficient solutions that ultimately either reduce customers' emissions, provide energy security and resilience, or provide new solutions for customers that are disconnected from the energy grid to start with. They also believe in giving back to the community. This specialized mobile foam fire suppression trailer was donated by Sapphire to the City of Conroe Fire Department to help with quick deployment, combating both Class B and C fires and designed to spray the specialized foam at a rate of 1,000 gallons per minute. We take what we do very seriously here at Sapphire. One of the things that we're most proud of is that we are actually providing a solution that gives American citizens the ability to continue using American natural gas in various forms when otherwise it might not be available. For more information, visit their website, sapphiregassolutions.com, or visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. Do you understand the purpose of medical research? Insights provided by patients today promise to lessen the impact of some of our greatest health problems while also improving the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. Let's learn more. I started ECHO because I watched my grandma and Uncle Don both suffer with chronic illnesses which made them debilitated. They were only allowed so many minutes per doctor in the room to get a treatment. I felt like that wasn't enough and I wanted to change healthcare one patient at a time and that's exactly what we do here. With treatments that are currently on the market, if they're not selling or there's a new treatment out, we recruit those patients to give their opinions on their day-to-day -day lives with that condition or disease. We then find the patients, we screen them, we recruit them, and then we get them on the study, they share their opinion and they get paid. It's that easy. ECHO recruits for a wide variety of studies and gathers important information that will be helpful for the advancement of medical research. We typically recruit for many types of cancer studies and also studies that are for more rare diseases, including myasthenia gravis or Rett syndrome. We work with every sick patient and their caregivers in order to go ahead and get everyone's voices heard. We look for these more rare studies because there's less known about them. The patients and their caregivers are less likely to get their voices heard and be recruited onto those specific types of studies. As soon as a new study crosses over my desk, I'll dig into our panel that is 100% HIPAA compliant and I'll look for all those patients and their caregivers that may have been diagnosed by a healthcare professional with those specific conditions. The screening process it may be from about five minutes up to about 15 minutes, dependent upon that specific type of study um, and what they're going to be doing on this study, whether it's a short little interview or maybe a survey link, and then I'll fully screen them in hopes to go ahead and get them fully onto that study and get their voice heard. Actively engaging patients in the research process is how researchers can gain insights that are more relevant to patient needs and preferences. We are recruited by a big pharmaceutical company or an advertising company 
to help better the treatment or to see why a treatment out on the market is no longer being prescribed. A medication will stop selling and the advertising agency will contact us and say, hey D, we believe that this medication is not selling anymore because it's this color, this shape, this size. Uh, can we do a market research study and give these patients visuals to look at? These patients get online on their computer, they're shown a screen of stimuli, different colors, different shapes, different sizes, and also the pill box. So some people wonder why we get such huge pill boxes when the pills are only this much. Well, it's because that advertisement they're trying to get the word across, by the way. Learned that doing pill design and package modifications. We take privacy very seriously. We are 100% HIPAA compliant, and we also keep all of our study information on a server that we do not touch until seven years after the study expires. I've been a technician for 27 years for Garage. In the last three years, I started working for D at Echo, doing some accounting due to COVID. Financially, the Garage was having some trouble, and so I decided to take a part-time job. Well, I had to take a very big jump. For 27 years as being a technician and then changing careers, I'm grateful, but it was very heartbreaking at first, but with the opportunities that Dee gave me, it was very easy to walk into. COVID came with many changes for many people. Year two, Kat was able to change her career over to Echo. We were able to be in our very first magazine and I was able to accomplish one of my very first ever childhood dreams when I was five years old of finally owning my very own Porsche. Changing healthcare one story at a time. Brenna is, um, she gives disabled people a reason to keep going. She is a trooper. I don't look up to many people, uh, but I look up to her. She's actually a disabled mom and she gets up every day and pours all that she can into Echo and she pours all she can into her seven-year-old daughter. I had to have her on the team and it was the best decision I've ever made in my life because she inspires so many disabled people that we know to get out there and get a job or a side hustle and she's just, I don't know how she does it, she runs circles around me. With increased collaboration, new technological innovations are making it easier to collect and analyze medical data. The driving force for this mean fire I have in my belly is people. I like to help people. I like to make a difference. I like to see that person smile. I like to know that they know that they matter again and that they're not forgotten. That's what makes me tick. That's what gets me going every morning. I am so proud that it's a woman-owned business. I want to be equal like everybody else. And I think the more women on business we can show, the more diversity that we have, the better humans we're gonna be. For more information about Echo Project Management Group, visit their website, echopmg.com. And of course, visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. Are you looking for warehouse solutions? Shoppa's material handling has all of your warehouse needs covered, and it's not just about forklifts. Our company provides uh, solutions for our customers, everything from standard equipment to racking and shelving, conveyor automated systems, dock and door equipment, industrial batteries, floor cleaning equipment, a full suite of products that takes care of everything inside the customer's warehouse and distribution facilities. With over 80,000 parts in stock and hundreds of certified technicians, they can service any type of equipment. We have over 200 certified technicians in our company and they're some of the most important people in our, in our business. They're the ones, the frontline employees that are giving a great customer experience to our customers and range in tenure from guys coming straight out of UTI that we have in training that we're mentoring and developing all the way to technicians that have been in the industry for over 20 years. They service all makes and models of equipment and help us support all the products we sell after the sale. Over the years, uh, Mr. Shoppa has built the company to where we are a one-stop Shoppa's for all of our customers. In the fact that we have our own battery department, we have our own service department, rental department, automation group. Virtually there's nothing in the four walls of a warehouse that we don't either sell, service, or provide solutions. Uh, and those come in all different shapes and sizes depending on who the client is and what their application does. That's the great thing about material handling and being with Toyota, the number one forklift in the world. 
that we are able to take care of anybody from a small garage to a large Amazon that everybody knows. So everybody in between is a client of Shoppa's and we can customize our parts service and, and sales solutions to every individual. There's not one too big or one too small that we won't uh, treat as our own. We have financing options for uh, larger projects uh, from a forklift all the way to a complete automation uh, facility, be it you know, $10,000 or $10 million, we have the financing arm to do so that helps save capital up front and finance over time. Their expertise has built strong relationships with companies in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and beyond. We are an electrical distribution company. We uh, service multiple um, residential and uh, commercial electricians and electrical companies. Currently, we use the forklifts, conveyor needs, our racking, dock doors, levelers. So it's really important for our customers to understand that we're not just trying to show up and sell a product. We want to come in and help their business. We want to be able to come in and consult with them, advise them on how we can help streamline their processes. And their dedicated automation partner, Advanced Intra Logistics, uses the latest technology to service their clients' needs. Advanced Intra Logistics takes a 360-degree uh, approach to your business. Um, the three pillars that we're looking for to analyze, um, operational data, operational performance and workflow, and then everything we do is, is kind of rooted in Toyota Lean Management fundamentals. Uh, we want to take our customers' pain points or business challenges, analyze them from a supplier agnostic standpoint, so we can then partner with our clients to bring together the right mix of products and software to solve those specific business challenges to best meet their needs. So the five biggest benefits that you're offered as a client from a systems integrator is our expertise, um, the cost-effective solutions we're able to bring together as we're not beholden to just a single manufacturer, the time savings of our, our solutions and our ability to respond, scalability of the recommendation solutions we provide, and then improved efficiencies on your operation. But I would also add that there's additional benefit since we've seen some of the major events over the last three years and the impacts of the supply chain. Our number one goal at Shoppers is to create a great customer experience. If we, if we don't have a great partnership, then the, the relationship won't last over time. So our number one goal is to um, treat all of our customers with respect in our, in our core values. For more information, visit shoppasmaterialhandling.com and advancedintralogistics.com. And of course, visit our website at insidetheblueprint.com. Thanks for watching Inside the Blueprint. For more information on any of the products you saw today or to find out how to become part of the show, please visit insidetheblueprint.com.